forward assist. But the XM8 has some competition in its attempt to topple the M16. What the end users really wanted was a gun that would handle almost exactly the same. The selector lever, the bolt release, magazine release, the pistol grip, the hand guards, everything is in the same exact place to where the shooter doesn't have to learn anything new. To meet that challenge, the designers at H&K developed another weapon, the HK416. From the outside, it looks a lot like the M16, but the 416 differs from its older brother in a big way. It's a piston-driven system. And there's a piston up in this area of the weapon that moves maybe about half an inch, and all the gases stop right there. All you have now is a rod pushing to the rear, which pushes the bolt back. Now there's no heat, no carbon, no reason for over-lubrication of the system. And it's fast. 900 rounds per minute fast. Yet, even with its incredible firepower, it is deadly accurate and always cool to the touch. On the HK416 is assigned to the units that have them. It's not unusual for those operators to shoot upwards of 12,000 rounds in five to six week pre-deployment cycles before they deploy overseas. Because it channels most of the gas away from the bolts, the HK416 overcomes the M16's heating issues. We'll run like maybe 10 magazines in a row on full automatic. And then we'll pull that bolt out and hand it to somebody, and it's as cold as it was when it started. That leads to um, a lot longer life on all the working parts inside the gun. Not only that, keeping the gases out also helps keep the weapon clean and ready to fight in any environment. Marines and soldiers operate in every type of climb and place, so the, the weapon system that, that that soldier's relying on has got to be extremely reliable, extremely durable, and he's got to be able to stake his life on it. To test the effectiveness of the bolt-driven system, the team at HK puts the 416 through three different and very extreme challenges. The first test, sand, and not just a little. They're gonna bury this weapon, then fire it with no cleaning. Will the 416 survive? The common strategy is to keep the openings as closed as much as possible. Magazine in through the magazine well, ejection port cover closed. And if you think the sand is bad, try thick mud. The 416 is immersed in it and tested again with no cleaning. Finally, the weapon is going for a little swim. Will it drown? The danger is that water will clog the barrel, causing the weapon to explode. There are drainage holes strategically placed inside the bolt and on the buffer housing that help negate from that overpressure that could result in a catastrophic failure. The 416 survives all three challenges and continues to fire. The legacy style AR-15s, M16s, M4s, you could not do this type of test. The weapon will blow up. The choice is huge. The government is sparing no expense to test these weapons. To date, the U.S. military spent in excess of tens of million dollars in research and development for a new weapon system to replace the M4 for the soldier. And the HK-416 may have the advantage. It is tested well with Delta Force. The HK416 is definitely the next generation. It's a lot more reliable, it's a lot longer lasting. It's an incredibly good weapon system.